it's no big secret that very large homes and multi-level homes can struggle with Wi-Fi, whether it's unreliable signals, slow speeds, or dead zones. And the typical solution for this problem is a mesh Wi-Fi system. That's why today we're going to review the TP-Link Deco BE14000 mesh system, sold as the Deco BE68 at Best Buy, and the Deco BE67 sold everywhere else, including Amazon. Same model, same headline, which means Wi-Fi 7 tri-band up to a combined 14 gigabits per second. Also includes the newer and faster 6 gigahertz band with 320 megahertz channels. Also includes MLO, multi-link operation, which combines the bands for a faster and more reliable connection. And lastly, there's a 10 gig and 2.5 gig ethernet port for high-speed wired connections. On paper, it's pretty spicy, but in real life, let's test it. So in this review, you can expect to see a detailed testing of all the features of the Deco BE67. This includes setting up the router, going through the app and all the main features, testing all three bands at different ranges, testing the MLO band at different ranges, testing all wired connections, testing a wired backhaul and testing a wireless backhaul and then comparing both speeds, testing 4K streams on my laptop and the big screen TV, testing speeds and online gaming with my PS5, and we'll even test the USB 3.0 connection. And then you'll get my final verdict on the Deco BE67. So just a quick rundown on my home network. I have a two gig fiber ISP connection with Cat6 and Cat6A ethernet throughout my house. So our maximum internet speed test will be two gigs. However, our network speeds should be 2.5 gigs since all of my PCs have 2.5 gig NICs. All of the wireless testing will be done with the Asus ZenBook S16 which is a Wi-Fi 7 laptop. And this laptop is pretty awesome. So make sure to check out my review after you finish watching this video. The Deco BE67 comes in a three pack, two pack, or even a single node pack. The total coverage area for the three pack node is a whopping 8,100 square feet. And that's a huge area. And with the max of 200 connected devices. Prices change frequently, but as of this week, the Deco BE67 three pack is priced at $599. So now let's go ahead and unbox it and set it up. Go. Nice packaging. Lots of great information on the box. There we go. One, two, Ethernet, power connection, power connection. And that's it. Third node. There we go. Power connection and Ethernet cable as well. All right, here's all three nodes. There we go. You see all the connections right here. And that's it. That's the entire system. This is the Deco BE14000. So let's take a look at one of the nodes and remember, they're all the same. So each of these nodes is a matte white cylinder with ventilation up top and a status LED in the front. And on the back, we have the wire connections. All right, at the top, we have a WPS button. Below that is a one gig ethernet port. And we also have a 2.5 gig ethernet port. And super exciting, we have a 10 gig ethernet port. And one thing to note, these ports are auto sensing and only one can be a WAM port at a time. So there isn't a permanently dedicated WAM port. For most homes, this will be fine. But for power users with fancier edge gear, just plan your cabling accordingly. All right, we also have a USB 3.0 for backups, storage, or time machine. And lastly, we have the power connection. Let's go ahead and plug it in. There we go. And we should see some power at the front. Next, we're gonna connect the ISP modem to the router using a CAS6 ethernet cable. And like I said here, any port will do, but we're gonna use the 10 gig port. There we go. And while this is booting up, we're gonna download the TP-Link app. After we download the Deco app, we can then go ahead and start up the setup process. And TP-Link makes this very simple. After you launch the app, Look for your model number in the menu system. Unfortunately, the BE14000 is not listed yet. This is a very new system. So I simply chose the BE16000. Next, you wanna to go to your wireless settings and then connect to the Deco wireless SSID and go through the setup process. And once you're all done, you can now see the home screen. 
And the very first thing I want to do is test the speeds of this router. So go to test speed and start the test. And here are the results. Two gigs down and one gig up. Perfect speeds. And that's exactly what my ISP guarantees. And FYI, I have quantum fiber. And I pay $95 a month for two gigs. Not bad. All right, let's take a look at the main screen. The first tab we have is network tab. From here, you have test internet speed, Wi-Fi settings. You have your client devices and smart home tab. The next tab is security tab. The next tab is parental controls. And with the basic Deco app, you'll have basic parental control settings. However, if you pay for the home shield, you'll get more advanced settings. And the last tab we have is more. From here, you have Deco lab reports, eco mode, guest network and VPN client. And there's a whole bunch of other settings. But right now we're gonna make two changes to our network. First, we're gonna turn on the IoT network. Now from the Wi-Fi settings tab, let's turn on the MLO network. And since we have Wi-Fi 7 devices, we're gonna test the MLO network, as well as the six gigahertz band. Okay, our first test is the 2.4 gigahertz band. And we're gonna start from 20 feet away and we're getting 173 down and 113 up. Next is 40 feet away, and we're getting 71 down and 41 up. Not bad. Our next test is from 80 feet away, and we're getting 60 down and 26 up. Still not too bad. And lastly, we're 100 feet away in a different room and I'm getting 19 down and a measly three up. All right, now we're gonna test the five gigahertz band. And at 20 feet away, we're at 1755 down and 415 up, which are great numbers. At 40 feet away, we're 1109 down and 519 up. It's still very good numbers. Now at 80 feet away, we're 859 down and 242 up. And at 100 feet away in a different room, we're 43 down and 11 up. The next test is the newer and faster six gigahertz band. So at 20 feet away, we got 1767 down and 1067 up. At 40 feet away, we got 1308 down and 580 up. At 80 feet away, we got 879 down and 216 up, which are pretty good numbers. And lastly, at 100 feet away in a different room, we got no signal at all. About 20 more feet. And then we finally got a signal, but it wasn't much. All right, the next test is the combined 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. So at 20 feet away, we got 1518 down and 715 up. From 40 feet away, we got 1025 down and 492 up. From 80 feet away, we got 692 down and 168 up. And from 100 feet away in a different room, we got 211 down and 13 up. Okay, the next test is the MLO band. And from 20 feet away, I got 1442 down and 728 up. And from 40 feet away, I got 1103 down and 549 up. From 80 feet away, I got 290 down and 117 up. And from 100 feet away in a different room, I got 127 down and 35 up. But what about the wired speeds on the B67? For this test, I have a wired connection from the 2.5 gig port on the router to the 2.5 gig port on my PC. And my wired speeds are 1877 down and 1058 up. And our speed test for the Deco app was two gigs up and one gig down. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to test the wireless backhaul from one of the nodes in the living room. And from 20 feet away, we got 1144 down and 777 up. And 40 feet away from the wireless node, we got 581 down and 606 up. And 80 feet away outside by the pool, through the glass sliding door, we got 308 down and 498 up. Okay, now it's time for the wired backhaul test. And we're gonna connect a Cat7 cable 
from the 2.5 gig port on the router to the 10 gig port on the node. And from 20 feet away, we got 1346 down and 908 up. Okay, from 40 feet away, we got 974 down and 630 up. And 80 feet away, outside by the pool, through the glass sliding door, we got 898 down and 375 up. So when it came to the wired backhaul versus the wireless backhaul, which one performed better? Well, the wired backhaul performed significantly better than the wireless backhaul. And it performed better at all ranges. However, the wireless backhaul still performed quite well, especially at the 20 foot and 40 foot range. But for the best performance, a wired backhaul is a must. But it's still good to know if a wired backhaul is not an option. You'll still get some great speeds on the wireless backhaul. So now we're gonna test the wireless 4K streams on the ZenBook S16 and our big screen TV. And the S16 stream looks really good. No buffering, the picture quality is very smooth, no issues. Let's check out the stream on our Samsung TV. This stream is about 45 feet away. And once again, the picture quality is very good. There is no buffering or connection issues. You gotta love the Plex server. So what about the PS5 speeds and gaming online? Well, from the wireless connection, about 40 feet away, we got 363 down and 59 up. And these speeds are way fast enough to game online. Let's go ahead and try Call of Duty multiplayer and see how it performs. As you can see, we have no issues, no latency, very smooth gameplay. And yes, I'm still terrible at this game. I need to practice. But the Deco BE67 is performing very well, unlike my gameplay. Ouch! I suck. That rug really tied the room together, did it? Not? So our final okay. test is to access this the USB can. drive on the router. And we're going to watch a movie. You know, and my favorite guy. movie is The Big Lebowski. Lebowski. Freaking hilarious. Guy. And the, the playback the from the USB That's drive is dude. perfect. This is no issues. So here are my final thoughts on the BE67. The Deco BE67 does offer strong value. While the three-pack node system does come in at a premium price, it does deliver features that blur the line between consumer and enthusiast. With two multi-ports, including a 10-gig wired port and extremely fast Wi-Fi 7 coverage, with really impressive wireless backhaul and wired backhaul speeds, this mesh system is more than enough for any size home or even a small business. If you need a top-tier mesh Wi-Fi system that can handle multi-gig ISP connections and dense device environments, the BE67 is an excellent choice, and its premium price is justified by the advanced hardware and features. If your needs are more modest, then you might find it a bit overkill. But for heavy users and future readiness, it's a solid pick. And of course, the BE67 product link will be listed below. And with that, guys and gals, thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.